So today we are going to discuss the sinus node as the pacemaker of the heart. The sinus node, the sinoatrial node normally acts as the pacemaker of the heart. The sinus node decides that whether the heart will beat at 60 times per minute, 70 times per minute or 80 times per minute. This decision normally in a normal heart is taken by the sinus node or the sinoatrial node. So today we are going to discuss why the sinoatrial node normally acts as the pacemaker of the heart. We uh, basically discussed previously that the sinus, the, in the sinus node, the sinoatrial node, there is an electrical spark, there is an electrical current after regularly in a rhythmical fashion after some time. Regularly there is some electrical impulse, a cardiac impulse which travels down the internodal pathway into the atrioventricular node and then from the atrioventricular node that impulse get transferred through the atrioventricular bundle through the Purkinje fibers into the cardiac uh, uh, tissue or the ventricular muscles. And that impulse, that electric current, that uh, uh, that impulse basically cause the contraction or the pumping of the ventricles which pump the blood into the lungs and the heart. So this is the heart we have discussed previously. This is the right atrium, this is the left atrium, this is the light, right ventricle, this is the left ventricle. Here is the sinoatrial node or the SA node, this which has been shown here. Then between the sinus node and the AV node, here we have the internodal pathways which has been discussed here. We have the AV node. From the AV node, here is the a AV bundle. The AV bundle has two parts. One is the penetrating part which basically penetrates a fibrous tissue which is present between the atria and the ventricles. And uh, after that we have the distal part. So in the AV bundle we have the Purkinje fibers which take the impulse from the AV node to the ventricular muscle. And there, once that impulse reach the ventricular muscle it causes pumping or the contraction of the heart. We have discussed in detail the impulse that get uh, generated in the sinoatrial node. It is slightly delayed in the AV node to allow contraction of the atria and then it get uh, transferred to the ventricular muscle. So that the atria get pumped, the blood goes into the ventricle and after that the ventricle should contract. Now this decision that the SA node will be generating that spark, that electrical current, that impulse normally that uh, that is for a reason. The impulse, the impulse normally arises in the sinoatrial node between 70 to 80 times per minute. That electrical impulse, that cardiac uh, activity, which we have discussed in detail in previous lectures, that normally arises in the sinoatrial node about 70 to 80 times per minute. And that is the normal heart rate of the human being. In a normal condition, in uh, in there is no pathology. This, the heartbeat is normally between 70 to 80 times per minute and that's because the electrical impulse, the cardiac current that arises in the sinoatrial node that is around the 70 to 80 times per minute. But how it allows the sinoatrial act, node to act as a pacemaker? The, 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 the explanation is that AV node, the atrioventricular node which has been shown here, the AV node and the Purkinje fibers, the Purkinje fibers are present in the AV bundle. The atrioventricular node and the Purkinje fibers can also exhibit intrinsic rhythmical excitation at 40 to 60 for AV node and 15 to 20 for the Purkinje fibers times per minute if not stimulated. So the atrioventricular node and the Purkinje fibers which are present in the AV bundle, they also have that intrinsic rhythmical excitation. They can also produce that electrical spark, they can also produce that cardiac current regularly which is normally produced by the sinoatrial node but that the speed of production of that in rhythmical excitation in the AV node in the atrioventricular node is around 40 to 60 per minute 60 times per minute and that in the Purkinje fibers is around 15 to 40 times per minute so the same impulse also get uh, basically arise in the S AV node and the atriovent uh, in the Purkinje fibers but they are not acting as the AV node, uh, they are not acting as the pacemaker in the normal circumstances. The SA node is normally acting as the pacemaker because the discharge rate of SA node is faster than the natural self excitatory discharge rate of the AV node and Purkinje fiber. So SA node controls the beat of the heart due to its faster rate. This this sentence summarizes the whole mechanism that why the sinus node basically acts as the pacemaker. Activity is occurring in the AV node 
and activity is also occurring in the Purkinje fibers. They are also trying to become the boss, but SA node will not allow them to become the boss. As soon as small activity starts in the AV node a or the Purkinje fibers, an impulse comes from the SA node again and it discharges and it depolarizes the AV node and the Purkinje fibers. So they are not basically allowed by the SA node. The faster rate of discharge of the SA node will not allow the AV node and the Purkinje fibers in the AV bundle to act as the pacemaker in normal circumstances. But the circumstances are not always normal. Abnormal circumstances do occur due to some pathologies. So if the pacemaker shift from the SA node somewhere else, then this, that pacemaker will be known as ectopic or abnormal pacemaker. So ectopic or abnormal pacemaker can occur, can be due to excessive excitability of the AV node, Purkinje fibers, heart muscle. So ectopic or abnormal pacemaker can occur if there is excessive excitability that is excessive, that is not, that is more than normal activity in the AV node or in the Purkinje fiber or in the heart muscle. If there is more activity, the activity, the speed is more than that of SA node, then that part, either the AV node or the Purkinje fiber or the heart muscle itself, they can act as the pacemaker, but that pacemaker will be ectopic. That will not be causing normal pumping of the heart. Pumping of the heart will be abnormal in that circumstances and the pacemaker will be ectopic or abnormal pacemaker. Then the pacemaker can also occur due to blockage of transmission of cardiac impulse from SA node to other parts. So the ectopic or abnormal pacemaker can occur either due to excessive excitability of the AV node, Purkinje fiber or the heart muscle or it can be due to blockage if there is some sort of blockage. The signal generated in the SA node is not being transferred to the rest of the heart, uh, it is not being transferred to the AV node or it is not being transferred due to the, uh, to the Purkinje fiber or is not being uh, transferred, uh, conducted to the ventricular or the cardiac muscle. So in that condition, in that condition, some excessive, uh, some abnormal or ectopic pacemaker can occur. If if the signal from SA node is blocked here, if the signal from SA node is blocked here, it then the Purkinje fiber will take the control of the, then Purkinje fiber will take the control of the heart and it will start, it will become the pacemaker of the heart. But before it become the pacemaker, before it becomes the pacemaker of the heart, some 15 to 20 second, 15 to 20 second, will pass and the person will faint the person will become unconscious for a while and that attacks are then known as stokes hidden attack stoke adams attack so why the sa node sinoatrial node basically acts as the pacemaker of the heart because the normal arise the normal impulse in the sa node arise it's 70 to 80 times per minute. The AV node and the Purkinje fiber can also exhibit intrinsic rhythmical excitation, but the speed is low. So the, the discharge rate of SA node is faster than the natural self excitatory discharge of the AV node or the Purkinje fiber. So SA node controls the beat of the heart due to its faster rate. Because the rate of discharge of the sinoatrial node is faster than the AV node and the Purkinje fibers, that's why in the normal circumstances the sinus node acts in the pacemaker. So if there is some excessive excitability of the AV node, Purkinje fibers or the heart muscle or there is blockage of signal transmission from the SA node to rest of the heart then, then some ectopic or abnormal pacemaker can occur and then AV node or Purkinje fiber or heart muscle can take the control of the heartbeat and then they can act as the pacemaker but they will be the ectopic pacemakers or abnormal pacemakers and there will be some problem in the normal pumping of the heart. So that's a simple topic about a simple lecture about the sinus node is the pacemaker. Hope you have understood this topic. Thanks a lot for watching the lecture.